so finally the last thing is if it is 9th of october because at that time only we have a lot of bookings and ticked here i can see mini conference now if i change this to 840 for now and click on this one i can see all the bookings now this is actually not the true case right because the meeting is already there from 8:30 to 9 i can't able to book another meeting at 8:40 that's not correct so for this actually we need to slightly change the formula um it's like we need to if you are uh, know the tamil then you can say not am tirbi mati chollu so it means we need to revise the calculation in formula it's actually a comedy scene comedy line which i mentioned there right so what i did is i'm just clicking on this red or again and let me um collect this one okay so paste here basically let me expand this so basically what i'm doing it here is same thing clear collect creating a collections and giving it a name as booking detail adding a filter and filtering it to the conference booking table and here is the twist so here basically i have used here the column and the column value to be this whatever the user has selected here right that's the one but here i am using the value whatever the user has selected converting it into a date and time and it should be greater than or equal to the start date time of the column of the table see it is reverse actually that's the reason and i am using the same thing the value should be lesser than the end time of that column so basically this value with the user is selected is 9 8:30 at 9th october it will search on these two columns it has to be greater than the start date time and less than greater than or equal to the start date time and less than the end time so by doing that what will happen is even though if you select 830 or 840 or 845 if you tick on this one i can't able to see other bookings so this is mini is already there so that's not a problem now you can see three disabled one is open so the reason is if i go back here and here are the 830 bookings right here also is 830 and if you look at this one the open conference which is ended at 840 so that's the reason we have got this enable if i change this to 835 ding now i can't able to see other bookings here now that's the reason if i change it to 8455 i can't able to see other bookings for mini lake and mini 2 huh so if i change it to 9 now i can see all the bookings except this one because we have bookings at 9 for this one if you look at this one the mini conference one is booking is there at 9 to 9:45 so if i change it to 9:30 now even that time we can't able to book at mini conference if i change it to 8 9:45 now i can't able to book on open conference this is great so i had this open conference till 10 am is booking is there so this is really amazing right so we can't able to book uh, during this time this is really easy for the end user in order to use this application so if i click on 10 am ending now i can see all the booking rooms are available i can book my meetings here at any time here so by doing this small changes we can able to achieve the result whatever we need i hope you got this understanding of how these things works in a clear better way If I miss something else, and if you want me to do something else better, or uh, I need to add some functionality to it, please post your comments in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this series of totally nine videos is going to come for this one. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. Please share this video to others and spread this across in order to help my channel to grow much better. So thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video, and see you in the next part of this series.